squad of Universal Legends. And as you saw from the title, today we are doing a plane guide. This will go a part of the first few parts of this thing I will be doing probably for the next week or two. Well, probably not actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you first how to build a plane out of wood, obviously, since this is a tutorial. And I don't know why I did that. I mean, I know what I did, I just don't know why I did it. But anyways, out hopefully throughout the month, you're going to see first this video, a plane. The next one should be a helicopter. And then some other videos I think will be important where I will then finally do a tutorial on how to make a ship. And it will be... And I'd say the five most important parts of the ship. Maybe the five most important parts. Maybe more. Maybe less. I don't know. Because I don't remember all the stuff you need. Well, that, like, definite needs to build a ship. I hope you can't hear my mom in the background. But if you can, hopefully it doesn't bother you too much. But then you might not have noticed and now you can. So. But anyways. As you can see, I am building, once again, quite unique. So, actually, let's just go ahead and scrap this real quickly. So, still going to be built out of wood. However, let's just make it about that wide. Now we're going to get some beams. And you probably don't want to build your planes like this normally. Matter of fact, you normally. Matter of fact, it's probably a guarantee. Probably, it's a guarantee that you don't normally want to build your planes like this. We just have it all down at once. Not because it's bad. It's just not the most aesthetically pleasing. And let's go with the corner, like always. The slope. And let's go five down so yeah this isn't going to be a small plane by any means yeah okay so it's like am i doing that right thing yes i am now however this one mm, i don't like how that looks but i need to do that real quickly i put that the wrong way orientated this is as you can already tell going to quite this well start so we're just going to do this real quickly. And then the rest of it will be beams. So forward. And then it's just going to be beams galore. So. We're just going to do this real quickly. And this is going to be in maybe one more beam length long. So there we go. And as you can see, the bottom is completely flat. That's actually how I wanted it to be. And this is why I wanted it to be like that on the top. We're just gonna, and this is why I wanted it to be this wide. Now you may have thought we we're gonna put some stuff there, but nope, because this is just a basic one. Aesthetics, I'm not gonna teach you how to do that. That's up to your own interpretation. Now, wings. If you don't have a heavy craft, you don't need too many. Of, like you don't need too much wing. So wings obviously are in the air section, and you want to get it right in the middle of the craft. And when you have a craft like this, normally you're going to want to get it in the center of mass. But since I know I'm going to shift the center of mass back a bit, that's just how I'm going to have the wings for now. Now you may think, uh -huh, that looks tiny. And that's because it is. It's the wings, I figured out when making those planes for the Armada earlier, that wings can be a bit overkill to say the least. Now. We could very easily, never mind. Nope, that one thing just prevented me from doing that. So we're just going to use the normal thrusters right now. 
simply because they actually go in a 4x4 block area. And I just realized that. But since... 1, 2... 1, 2... Technically 3, so... Let's just go ahead and double up. I don't see anything wrong with that. Oh uh, yeah, I gotta decrease the, the wingspan now. So let's just go ahead and chop this front layer off for the wings. Because honestly, the wings give a lot more lift than you may think they do. I'm still gonna do that anyways. Now something you want, if you wanna be able to turn the wings, are ailerons. And that allows you, like I say, it allows you to turn it in the air. And you're gonna wanna put these on the edge. So there we go. That's gonna allow tilt. Now for basic style, I'm going to go with tail. Well, normally you'd go with the tail point, but this is how I'm gonna do it. Just going out four each time. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And then going up one more until we get, yeah, that should be fine. And there we go. So, as you notice, all we did was build a hole. We actually need some, probably needed AI. I don't, I'm not going to quite teach how to set up the AI. So we're just going to get a basic engine from the fuel section. Let's, I don't think the Hercules is the basic engine. Let's try the eco -man. And let's just get this out right now. A straight pipe and hole pipe. How I always do it so it looks the best. Now, sadly, there isn't like a beam version of the one meter block, so you're not gonna get but then again that actually does look like it still, so take that as you will. And there we go, just basic one no. You know what? Let's build our, our own engine. So let's just go ahead and place this. Because honestly, these prefabs, they're they're not bad, but they're just to get you started if you're just now starting to play the game. Therefore, they're not gonna be that efficient. So fuel engines fuel engine generator let's go three shafts out cylinder oh yeah after the helicopter guide an engine guide for regular engines steam engines and electric engines will be out after that so we're just gonna go now with the exhaust nope you don't want two corners right back next to each other used to didn't matter but now it does you could just have it and it didn't have to exit the vehicle. Yeah, I was thinking we could put something there, but nah. Okay, so then we go here. Junction. Junction. And as you can see, that goes there. Straight pipe, straight pipe. Then we have the whole pipe. And after we put some fuel storage on it, actually first let's put the hole, then we can put the fuel storage. Because after we do that, then we'll have some power. So resources, fuel storage, and no, once again, they didn't add back the old fuel prop. Processor. I just have a mod that does that. I got it from the forum page. I don't think it's on the the workshop. So, the final thing you will need for this plane, it's just an AI card slot. As you probably know, this you can get any one of these. I'm gonna get the aim point selection. Normally, you'd have it all the way out and then doing that, but nope. And I'm just gonna put the normal area there. I'm not gonna tweak any settings. As you can see, we are tilted. So that's because we do not, for once, when I use the wings, have enough 
lift. So let's do that. Let's see if that fixes it. Okay, so we have the lift now, but we can't turn. So once again, these are just things you're gonna go in the aerial AI and tweak. So let's set the extreme. Let's set it to zero. And we're gonna want that to be one baby. Zero. So that way this thing only up oh, okay. Air jets returning. Once again, jets returning. So yeah, as you can see it's trying to turn now. And it's doing it quite well. This thing is not the stable so I was going to use some thrust at the front oh you see that might be why it's not the most stable like so I did that and if it's not that bull is just gonna mirror up the other side then and then anything else okay Should, nope, still doesn't have enough lift, but this way it's balanced out a bit more. And if you ever have a problem like this, the easiest thing to do is to just put some thrusters facing upwards and downward, and then it'll be, the thrusters themselves will push the craft up. Now, this is actually more stable than I expected, or almost pancake. Looking at this, the next thing in the Armada, which so I don't forget, I'm going to go ahead and make a note of it, will be a flying saucer. 